When your campus is home to 27,000 students, indoor air quality is of the utmost importance. The University of Arkansas, located in Fayetteville, has 100 buildings served by about 150 air handling units, or AHUs, each designed to condition and filter campus airstreams. Moisture is an ever-present threat in air handlers because the evaporator coil operates at a temperature less than the dew point. As moisture is drawn out of the air to produce cooler temperatures to room occupants, the condensation that results creates the perfect environment for mold and other harmful contaminants to flourish. In 2008, facilities personnel at the university started getting complaints about biological growth accumulation on the air distribution registers in the Health, Physical, Education, and Recreation building. The 100,000 square foot space has a heavy concentration of student activity rooms. It needed a remedy that could work in conjunction with the two AHUs, which produce a combined 42,000 CFM. Simply steam cleaning the air registers was not enough. For a more permanent solution, Rick Gregg, HVAC coordinator with the university's Utilities and Facility Operation Department, turned to ultraviolet germicidal or UVC technology. Widely embraced in the 1990s to improve indoor air quality, the technology uses light in the ultraviolet C spectrum to remove biological growth from HVAC cooling coils, plenum interiors, drain pans, and air filters. The 253.7 nanometer germicidal wavelength reflects deep into the evaporator coil to systematically eliminate the buildup that mechanical and chemical washing often misses. As long as the area is exposed to the wavelength, biological growth is unable to regenerate. More importantly in this instance, once biological growth was removed from the AHU, the same would be true for all registers, return grills, and ceiling diffusers. The RLM Extreme Fixtureless UVC Lamp System, manufactured by UV Resources, was selected for installation on two air handlers downstream of the coil that services the recreation building. Over a three-month period of UVC treatment, measurements at the building revealed a reduction in coil pressure drop, from nearly 1 inch to less than 0.8 inches of static pressure. The higher pressure drop, resulting from a dirty coil, had been forcing the AHU fans to work harder to compensate for the coil's diminished cooling capacity. Once the coil was cleaned, the fan didn't have to strain to draw the air through the plenum, providing energy savings in addition to disinfection. As a result, facilities management were able to lower the brake horsepower by 1.311 and save roughly $1,077 a year in energy costs. The UVC system was a one-time investment, with an average installed cost of 15 cents per CFM, a fraction of the 10 to 25% potential reduction in energy and maintenance costs it offers. As long as lamp changes are maintained, no future steam cleanings are required. Six years later, a second air handling unit in the same University of Arkansas building had a severely clogged coil, preventing it from bringing in air at the designated 26,000 CFM. The buildup on the coil was thick enough that an immediate steam cleaning was necessary to restore its operation. After the steam cleaning restored the coil, UVC was immediately applied. Within several days, airflow levels through the coil increased 127.5% and have held at that level since the installation. As a result, the university has continued to install the units across campus, 48 of them to date, ensuring that safe and clean air is delivered to students and faculty.